Russia plans targeted terror focusing on capital of Ukraine. This experience has shown that the enemy uses Zircon missiles with increased activity, indicating that the air alert will spread to the Kyiv region when ballistic missiles are used from the south, states head of the United Coordinating Press Center of Security and Defense Forces of the south of Ukraine, Natalia Humeniuk. Several dozen similar missiles are in the enemy's accumulation at military hubs like Crimea and it can continue occasional targeted terror with a focus including on the capital, Humeniuk said. She added that for the enemy, the priority remains the method of terrorist pressure and when there is a threat of ballistic weapons from the south, usually the southern and southeastern regions light up red on the alarm map. Natalia Humeniuk reported that the enemy continues to use ballistic missiles not only in the southern regions. According to the spokesperson, this indicates that pushed to a certain degree of desperation, it is forced to use reserve means that will lead to the so-called victory in the rear. Humeniuk also emphasized that civilian terror continues with the enemy continuing to shell settlements along the contact line in the Kherson region and returning to the tactic of using guided aerial bombs. Perhaps losing some aviation vigilance, tactical aviation allowed itself two strikes with six guided aerial bombs each this combat day on the right bank of the Kherson region. A cultural institution, a shop and some private houses were destroyed, the official added. The fact of returning to the use of tactical aviation at this front line is a powerful signal for us. We must reorganize our defense system so that enemy aviation again fears in this direction. It should be noted that in the Solomyansky district of Kyiv, a combat part of a Russian missile was seized. It fell during Russia's attack on March the 25th. During the inspection of the area, explosive technicians found a fragment of the combat part of the substance with detonators weighing over 20 kilograms near private houses. Additionally, the Air Force explained why the Russians have shortened the intervals between attacks on Ukraine. In particular, this is because the Russia is trying to find weak spots in the Ukrainian air defense system. At least 12 Palestinians drowned and six others were trampled to death when people rushed to collect airdropped American aid packages off the northern Gaza coast, local authorities said that the Pentagon confirmed that three of the 18 packages it airdropped on Monday had parachute malfunctions and fell into the water just off the coast of the Strip. Abu Muhammad, who witnessed the incident, told CNN the aid was dropped far from the coast into the sea, after which multiple men who don't know how to swim drowned while trying to retrieve it. Footage of the incident showed people running towards the site of the airdrop as parcels descended upon a beach in Bait Lahia in North Gaza, with some falling onto the shore and others into the SEA. US State Department spokesman Matthew Miller laments reports that several Palestinians drowned while trying to retrieve airdropped aid that landed off the coast of northern Gaza, it is a tragedy, Miller says when asked about the reports in a briefing. It is not just a tragedy that these individuals died trying to get aid. It is a tragedy that they felt so desperate that they had to swim out into the ocean to try and retrieve it in the first place. No one should have to put themselves at risk to try and get food, water and medicine for their families. It should just be there for them, and that is what we're trying to accomplish through the work that we're doing to provide humanitarian assistance and in our engagements with the government of Israel to facilitate the delivery of additional humanitarian assistance, the State Department spokesman says aid agencies say only about a fifth of required supplies are entering Gaza as Israel persists with an air and ground offensive, triggered by Hamas' October 7 attack, that has shattered the enclave, pushing parts of it into famine already. They say deliveries by air or sea directly onto Hamas-run Gaza's beaches are no substitute for increased supplies coming in by land via Israel or Egypt.